I have some uh, compulsory compul compul com compul stuff you just feel like you have to do, you know, weird, th you know, stuff that you're just compelled to do. Yeah, I, I can't fucking say the word compulsion, compulsion, compulsion. Ah, <coughs> fuck. It. You know, stuff that you just do, like people like washing your hands, you know, several times. You know, you just have to keep on doing it for uh, until you, you know. Now I don't, I don't do that, but I have other things. Um, I bite myself, you know, on my lips to the point of bleeding. Not sure if eating is one. I might just be a fat ass, you know, no excuse for it. Hmm. Uh, this, I think, is one. I need to have a beverage in a can at home at all times. I, I need to have this and drink it every day. It doesn't have to be cola, anything. I, I just need a beverage in a can. Uh, otherwise I, I almost fucking panic. I'm also sensitive to stuff. Now I, I've seen other people telling me about their Asperger's and that they have that they are sensitive to light um, I don't know if I am sensitive to light, I mean I'm as sensitive to it as any other person I think you know nobody likes bright lights in their face but uh, some people with Asperger's just can't stand just a normal lamp, you know. Um, yeah, no, they they can't even. They don't even like walking in the sunlight. They wear sunglasses. Um, that's I I don't think I have that, but I do have a sensitive skin. When I was little and uh, my mother uh, was helping me take a shower you know so I was very little and I would uh, say that it was hurting me the, the when the water was hitting my skin uh, I would say it was hurting me uh, uh, I don't like to take a shower now but I wouldn't say that it was hurting me. Um, I'm too, <laughs> I guess, I'm too rational to actually think it does. Like, okay, Peter, it's it's not really hurting you. It's it's just something else. So I don't have that problem, but. <coughs> That was my mom. She was asking me what I wanted from the store. Guess where I wanted? Beverage. <coughs> where the fuck was I? Showers. That's right. I don't like to take showers. I also don't like brushing my teeth. Sometimes I just don't do that, and as a result, I have bad teeth. There's always a hole in my teeth when I'm going to the dentist. Fucking sucks. But I don't know, I but it never makes me want to brush my teeth even though I have get this pains in my teeth. Uh, I don't like cutting my hair. As you can as you can obviously tell. <coughs> 
there's that's also a weird thing that some some people with Asperger's say that it, it that it hurts them when they cut your hair. Now, I wouldn't say that it hurts me. I just feel really uncomfortable when someone is cutting my hair with a scissor. I mean, I can do it with a trimmer. Um, not sure if it's called that in English. You know, a electronic <laughs> that thing. I, I don't have a problem with that. I mean, I can even have a razor blade and you know, like that. But I don't like scissors. Huh? <sighs> what else? What else is fucked up about me, huh? And, alright, uh, now I remember, uh, I don't understand respect. I don't really know what it is. Now this is something I recently discovered. Uh, I have used it, I've used the word before, and kind of, sort of, Un understood it, in, but never completely, and now I'm just... Uh, dude, what the fuck is it? I, I don't understand it. Uh, this person called Frosty Jesus told me that I need to show respect for all countries and cultures. I don't understand what that means. According to him, I could still dislike countries and cultures, but I should still respect them. So, respect has nothing to do with liking something, apparently. Insulting something, apparently, is not respectful. So, yeah. Yeah, you know, if someone could, like, explain that to me, it would be great. Not sure if that had anything to do with my Asperger's, but hey, I thought I would throw that in. Um, now, because I have very low empathy, uh, I look at things very differently. Uh, uh, you know, when it comes to politics, laws, uh, religion, I look at it with absolutely no emotional level. For example, if I look at abortion, I don't understand. Now, on, on an emotional level, abortion can seem wrong to people, I guess because some people see it as killing life uh, but I, 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 I just can't see it in a, on a emotional level for me it's just getting rid of a bunch of cells in your body a, so I don't, I don't see it as any different as removing uh, an appendix. Now, an appendix appendix is most likely is most likely gonna be bigger. But you know, uh, but that's uh, just an example. Uh, I got many more uh, things. I have one really weird one that I might share with you on in a later video, maybe. Thank God I live in Sweden.